Welcome to Autumn Approved, a channel where we review all things that make parenting easier and also to see if my daughter Autumn approves. Automobiles. On this episode, we review the Guava Rome Crossover Stroller. It is lightweight for its class and feels really sturdy. It retails for $649.95 and is a straight-to-consumer stroller. You will not find this in stores yet. However, they do a lot of promotional sales and I purchased mine in a bundle with the parent console and rain shield. For a three-wheeled stroller, it did not feel tippy as most three-wheeled strollers usually do. I have had a City Mini GT and GT2 as well as a Bob Rambler, and it always felt like the slightest weight on the handle could tip it over. The Guava Rome has a more robust feeling, and while you shouldn't add anything to the handle, this stroller feels really sturdy. The fabrics are also very lush and have a comfortable feel. The handlebar height is adjustable, and at the tallest comfortable angle, it measures at 43 and a half inches. The rear wheel measures 13 inches, Though the wheels are airless, they have the stroller feeling like you're pushing air-filled tires. The seat measurements are as follows. The seat butt to canopy height is 27 inches, which is pretty generous for most strollers. The basket is also a good size and is easily accessible, which I appreciated because on other models, the basket is not easily accessible. Like other joggers, there is a strap on the handle that you can place on your wrist so that your stroller doesn't try to run away without you. The parent console is from Guava, so it fits perfectly and is lightweight with pretty deep pockets. There is an adjustable five point harness and the seat cushions are removable and machine washable for easy cleaning. The snack tray is easily removable and attaches securely to the stroller. We even kept it on while running. The basket has extra zippered compartments inside for extra storage, and the back seat has a mesh pocket where I'm currently housing the rain shield and the snack tray bag. To recline the seat, there is a handle that allows you to gently recline the seat for naps on the go. The stroller is recommended for a baby at least six months old and up to 60 pounds. So the recline will not be fully flat for an infant, but they do sell car seat adapters for Kiko, Nuna, Uppa Baby, and Graco infant seats. To put the seat back up, you hold the handle and pull on the strap simultaneously and it will put the seat back up to its most upright position. When the seat is reclined, there is a mesh peekaboo window on the back of the seat as well as in the canopy. The mesh windows are nice and large and the canopy gives great coverage. There is also a mesh visor that pops out for more coverage and air. One of the best things about the Guava Rome is that you can control the front wheel swivel from the handlebar. So if you're jogging and find that you need to turn or are nearing a cross street and need the front wheel to swivel again, you can control it with the flip of a switch at the handlebar. To close the stroller, you set the handlebar to the lowest setting Make sure that the front wheel is locked in place and pull the red strap located underneath the seat cushion. You can fold it with the snack tray still on and it stands on its own when folded. The handle has little feet so that the handle never touches the ground. Here are the measurements of it folded. It's pretty compact. If you forget how to fold or unfold it, there are instructions right on the stroller itself located under the red pull strap under the seat cushion. To unfold, you just take the handlebars and open it right up until it locks into the open position. Here is an example of what the basket is capable of carrying. Inside is a Jujube Zealous diaper backpack, as well as a couple of jackets and water bottles. You can see how easily accessible it still is. Now for some jogging. Here are some examples of the different terrains and how well and easily it pushes. Some of the terrains include uneven pavement or sidewalk, an inclined street,
small to medium river rocks. and loose dirt or gravel terrains. Being able to control the swivel wheel from the handles make it really easy to switch from jogging to regular strolling and gives you more control over the stroller. Overall, this crossover stroller was a pleasant surprise. Definitely built sturdy, but surprisingly lightweight and user-friendly. Comparing it to the other three-wheeled strollers that I've had, I highly recommend this stroller. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or follow us on Instagram. Until next time!